Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the France visa application, which is quite easy if you are applying to go to Paris or to just visit France in general. I find the process quite easy and yeah, so I'm gonna do it so very quickly so that we can see. So you want to start by going on your on your computer and then you can type in France Visa UK and it will bring you this application form. So you want to log into that and it will bring you this bit. So you'll see what are your requirements. You need a passport, original and photocopy of the supporting documents and two photos. These are the passport photos that you're going to use when you're doing the application. And then you're gonna start your application. So when you start your application to bring you to see, to bring you this. So it will bring you this bit where you can start your application. So because I'm already logged in, I can log out, show you how it's going to be when you're applying. So it's going to be something like this. You can create an account and it's so easy to create an account. You just have to fill in your names, your email address. You're going to check your email to make sure it's the correct one. And then you're going to choose a password and you're in. If you already have an account, then you're going to log in. Going to log in. And... Um, when you log in, you bring in something like this, so you can see if you've had made application in the past, then it will bring you this page. And if you want to create a new one, so for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create a new one. So this is uh, the main document that you need to fill in. But since I have had a document I made, I'm gonna show you the document that I used too. So, I'm gonna use one of the previous documents that I used. So let me just download it. So this is a document that I used to, this is how the documents um, look like. So this is a full document that you use to apply your Schengen visa. Uh, so you're going to fill in your names, you're going to fill in your date of birth, your nationality, your sex, your mar mar marital status. If you have a guardian or if you're age 18 and, and under, you can fill in your details. You stay your you state your national identity and number where applicable if you're not from the UK. Um, you choose your travel document if you're using an ordinary document or any other sorts of passport. You fill in your documents, uh, travel document number, your date of issue, and where it was issued from. You will state the number of a family member that you, you have or you're traveling together with. If you do not, then you can skip that part. You can, uh, you will stay your, your, where you're going to, where you stay, you're currently living, and your phone number. You're going to state your residence and if you have a resident permit or a, or a BPR card, then you can state, you can um, give the number and the uh, date when it's valid. Then you have to put in your, uh, your employer's number and details. You have to state the purpose of your journey and you have to state where you're going to stay. So just remember to make sure that you've booked a place to stay on a booking on a booking website. So it will give you a flight and a place to stay, and this is where you're going to uh, you're going to fill in. So you're going to state additional information of. Um, so you're going to state your main that you where you plan planning to visit. That is France. You're going to state how many uh, entries you want to make, if it's single or multiple or two entries, whichever. You're going to state whether you've had this application done in the past or not and when it was valid. And then you're going to state the, the places where you're going to stay, how the person inviting you, 
and their contact details. And then you're going to state whether you're using, how you're going to support yourself and whether you made prepaid, you've already booked your accommodations and transport. And if you have a sponsor or organization that is inviting you, you're going to fill that in. And then you read the document and you sign it. Just make sure you fill in the correct details so that they don't uh, cause an issue when you're going to apply. So that's it for the main um, main, main application form. So after you've done that, you've already have your documents and everything is ready. Book an appointment to make your fingerprint appointment. Um, it's quite easy. I'll show you how to do that. So you want to go to. So you want to go to and type TLS. This is a fingerprint or a appointment um, where you make your fingerprint application or appointment. So TLS contra contract contact. Sorry, it's gonna bring you a page. So this is a TLS homepage, but since you're doing the French visa application, you're gonna click on the French visa application. It will bring you this bit. So you're gonna you're going to select where you want to do your application, and um, so you're gonna select London or wherever you want to do. Then you can do that. Montessori, Edinburgh, wherever it's close to you, you can do that. And you're going to select London. You're going to see this bit. So submit to time to do. So you can prepare your supporting documents. That will include the PDF form, your travel document, your BRP if you need it, your passport photos they require too, and any other form. They will also require your employers, um, a letter from your employer. They will require uh, bank details, bank details that show that you can support yourself. And then you have, um, and then you can also return after the application and, and it's verified and you're confirmed. You can go back and pick up your application, your visa. So you have to leave your passport and they will do their thing. And when they finish, you can be able to pick up your passport. So you can have services where you have a courier send you back your passport, but make sure you track it so that you don't, you don't miss out or you don't lose your passport, which is quite important. And then you're going to log in. So if I log in, so you're going to create an account. If you don't have one, you will create an account. It's quite easy. Um, so after that, if you log in, you can see what's happening on that page. So if you had made um, several application, you'll be able to do it. If you've made applications in the past, you in the past you can be able to do that. Um, let's see, let's see. Article number. If you are adding something new, if you're creating a new form, you just create a new form, and then you fill in all your details. Just make sure these details go together. Are uh, the same as what you entered in your application, your Schengen visa application form. And then you submit the, this document, and then it will give you. Uh, it will you can book your appointment, and when you book your appointment, then you can go for your appointment. Just make sure that you're uh, available to go for your appointment, and you have time because if you're working on that day, then you have to change and make sure that you get the appointment that's going to suit you. And that's it for that, that session. It is quite easy if you want to do it. It's quite, it's very easy. You just have to fill in the Schengen visa form and then you have to book your appointment. You also have to pay, uh, I don't know what, what amount it is, but I, I remember paying something like 60, 75 pounds. And you also have, if you want courier services to bring you back the 
your visa then you can do that but as you've seen it's very easy just um i hope that you can be able to do that easily now because it was quite hard for me to know all the all the details and go through all the processes but i i've tried to make it as simple as possible and i hope that you did enjoy and if you have any questions comments or likes or if anything has changed since you can leave your comments and let me know how that goes thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you soon and i'll tell you all about my paris visit and i'll make an a point to make sure that i leave all the details about that visit anyway thank you so much make sure that you just make sure to subscribe if you like this video like comment share and uh, yeah so thank you so much see you on the next video bye